The dramas that we often watch are usually made based on the imagination of the writer. Although there are stories that are based on true stories, there is still a dramatic spice that will be added. The author is free to determine how the story ends. Even, a few writers will change the ending of the story in order to satisfy the audience even though it seems forced and does not make sense. On the other hand, some of the following Korean dramas actually have realistic endings. Here are some K-drama with realistic endings. 2521 is a reference to the main couple's ages at the time that they begin their romance. Where this drama tells the story of the lives of young people who were affected by the IMF financial crisis in South Korea in 1998. 2521 is one of the best dramas ever because it provides many valuable life lessons. However, this drama is also the kind of drama that breaks the hearts of the audience because the relationship between Na Hee Do and Baek Yi Jin had to break. Na Hee Do actually married with other man, Mr. Kim after a long love story with Baek Yi Jin. Although this ending is annoying, but doesn't their story relate to real life? The truth is, we don't always marry people we've been in a relationship with for a long time, right? Prison Playbook is a captivating series revolving around the lives of convicts behind bars, their families and duty officers working in the correctional facilities. It focuses on the story of a superstar baseball pitcher, Kim Jae Hyuk who is convicted of assault after he saves his sister from a sexual attack. While in prison, he had difficulty adapting and could not accept the situation, but over time Jae Hyuk managed to become a wise person and even got rewards from the warden. But when he was released, it didn't mean that Jae Hyuk could immediately win the match. He actually lost in his comeback because he couldn't train optimally while behind bars. In addition, not all of Jae Hyuk's friends who were released from prison managed to improve themselves, the proof is that Yuhan Yang was again arrested by the police because of drugs. Hi by Mama is a story about Cha Yuri who suddenly died in a tragic accident while pregnant with her daughter Cho Seo Wu. Their daughter was left to her husband Cho Gangwa and raised her alone. After dying Yuri didn't leave Earth and choose to stay until her husband remarries, thus she's around her family as a ghost within 49 days. Although the storyline of this drama is impossible to happen in real life, but the ending of this drama itself is quite realistic. Because she had died and she has to finally return to heaven, remembering that her place on earth had been replaced. Unfortunately, many viewers were disappointed with the ending. In fact, it would be strange if Cha Yuri was come back alive. Yumi Cell Season 2 just ended this week and like the Season 1, it has the same ending like the webtoon. Yumi Cell Season 1 tells the story of an ordinary office worker from the perspective of the brain cells in her head that control her every thought, feeling, and action. Yumi is an ordinary woman. Her love cell falls into a coma following the shock of a failed relationship. In the story, Yumi manages to restore her love cell life because she has started a romantic relationship with Gu Wu. Unfortunately, their romantic relationship had to end because of different goals in life and did not impose visions on each other. Set in the entertainment world, Record of the Youth portrays the story of a model Sa Hai Jun who wants to become an actor, and a makeup artist on Yung Ha trying to succeed in her career as they deal with life's challenges and fall in love. Many fans had a problem with how episode 16 ended. Although the reason they broke up was because Yung Ha wanted to focus on achieving his dream, but not a few viewers speculated that Yung Ha didn't want his relationship with Hai Jun to be revealed by reporters. But, from the get-go, I think Record of Youth was never meant to be a love story. Hush is a drama that tells the stories of journalists. Their struggles, their dedication, and their sacrifices are really very well described. To be a journalist is not easy, Han Jun Hyuk is a senior reporter who works at a respected Korean daily. One day Han Jun Hyuk was asked to mentor the apprentices at the Korean daily. Han Jun Hyuk and his team tried to express justice in various ways, but the situation didn't seem to be on their side. He and his friends finally realized that they still couldn't reveal the facts they got by relinquishing their status as journalists in the company. 
this ending is fairly realistic, right? Because in reality, not everything can be won through the press and justice is not that easy to enforce. That's all for today's video, leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe and like my channel.